What's going on fish keepers? George from South Florida African Cichlids here and today I'm going to be showing you our three new pickups and we also moved around some fish. Our uh, sulfur head uh, or white blaze OB breeder. We moved them into the 120 gallon. Uh, made room so the albino OB is going to be our current breeder. We also bought three beautiful fish from a local breeder and I have a little story for you guys but first and foremost I wanted to tell you guys I'm here I'm not doing as many videos as I used to um, simply because I am working around 40 hours a week as a full-time job and then part-time I'm also doing aquarium maintenance now in two counties Miami and Broward so sometimes I have to drive on my day off to get those done um, I'm having a blast you know what I mean? It feels nice to not have a job where I have to work 50 or 60 hours as a week, which is what I'm used to as a chef. Um, but yeah, it's going great. They're paying me great. I'm happy on my time off. I get to do things that I like, but I just haven't had much time to do the YouTube videos, to edit a video and so forth and so on. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm really happy you guys have uh, stuck with me and I see a lot of new subscribers. So thank you for subscribing and um, yeah, let's, let's get it going here. So as you can see, this is our current OB breeder. We're pulling him out here. You get a good look at him. This is with the flash on. This is pretty much what they will look like in natural light. So you can see how much of a beauty he is. He's got orange, yellow, white, blue, purple all sorts of colors and he's around three to three and a half inches you can see when he goes in the tank he's uh, pretty tiny compared to everyone else most fish in there are five to six inches right now and this is a female that I had with my ruby red and she was just getting beat up and she wouldn't she wouldn't breed with him she never did in like a year that they were together and the other OB females that are in there have bred with him so I'm like you know what let's give her a break put her in the big tank the females hold their own their own in the big tank so you know I thought it, it wouldn't be a problem there you can see the little OB is trying to you know fend off for himself but you can see that star sapphire is uh yeah that's a six inch set six to seven inch fish um so the story goes that I sold a couple ruby reds and some other I think some obies to some guy that drove down all the way from West Palm Beach which is like an hour away well here you can see one of the obies that we bought he's stunning um, real nice pink with like an orange red shoulder and uh, very peculiar blotches you know not the typical blotches that you see everywhere he only has a few but I like that uniqueness to him and um, so this guy recommended me to go to this uh, Chris Chris uh, his house is like in Hialeah he has a page that's uh, cichlids Hialeah and um, so he was only like 20 25 minutes away from my house and I decided to pass by you know check out his setups he has a uh, a lot of ponds going and that's like one thing that I would like to really do in the future to get my fish to grow faster because currently I only have like up to 40 gallons as grow out tanks and my fish do take a while to color up while if I had like a 300 gallon tote it would it would you know be a lot less and I could sell fish with the colors that you're seeing right here um, unfortunately our dragon blood from Imperial Tropicals did die not too long ago so uh, we you know we had to get another dragon blood this one is not as pink as him but when we saw him in natural light he had a good amount of that dragon blood sheen so when the light captures him right he does look really pink and he has a nice uh, nice orange on him and uh, this so so yeah you know it's it's all about connections uh, <laughs> this guy didn't want to come out of the of the bag uh, supporting small businesses you know us breeders got to help each other you look at that guy now these weren't like he didn't raise these he bought them so I was a little hesitant but hopefully you know hopefully they're not juiced and um, either way I'll give you guys an update on that you can see our Venustis has grown insane and um, I'm still selling fry locally here in the Miami area 
if you guys are interested right now I have some OB rubies growing up I have some some Sinotilapia cobus and some sulfur head hybrids uh, there you can see the cobu showing his dominance in the tank and the German was really fired up but the guys are doing great and thank you guys for watching this video I hope you like the new fish we added in and I'll do an update on it soon later mm -hmm.